Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You know, with the threat of nuclear war from Russia and shortly after COVID, the end of Ramadan has come and You know, it's funny talking about COVID um, because when COVID was in power, uh, everyone was helping everybody. You know, since COVID finished or just about finished, it's like Russia's turned around and said, you know, COVID's just about over if we can celebrate with a war. But, you know, in Quran it says, Do you not think that I will test you with your lives, your children, your livestock, your family, work, business, wars? So surely this has got to be a, a test because why Allah wouldn't want his slaves to go under a nuclear bomb. Alhamdulillah, you know, it may be Allah's will. It may not. But a stern reminder from Quran Ash Sharia one eight six. Uh, it is a warning. From Allah and a prophecy. You know, it could, it could be a prophecy about Russia, I don't know. And it states, You are but a human being like us. And verily, we think that you are one of the liars. So cause pieces of the heaven to fall on us if you are the truthful. Now, this can be taken at 187 of Ashuria. Now, this could be taken as two things it could be taken about the media saying that russia ready for nuclear war it could also be condemnation for russia planning a nuclear war see even though 1400 years after the quran uh, was written it's still relevant. Children are being killed. Homes destroyed. Places of worship. Churches, mosques, hospitals, nurseries. The list goes on and on and on. I would say that if it, we go to nuclear war, then alhamdulillah, you know, Allah knows best. But at the same time, war cannot take place. It states in the Quran 
and I would state to Vladimir Putin and the world media to take notice. It states, whomsoever takes a life, it is like he has taken all the life of mankind. But whomsoever saves a life, it is like he has saved all of mankind. You know, hundreds of people are dying. Not just in Ukraine, but Russia, England, America, Bangladesh, Pakistan. See, the end of Ramadan is supposed to be about celebration. Now, the celebration of ending fast. Now, that is very, very good. But at the same time, We all, no matter Muslim, Jew, Christian, we need to band together and not cause violence. We need to band together and Pray, pray to Allah that there is peace. World War Two, millions of people died. For what? And now it's like Vladimir Putin's reliving history and trying to rewrite history. Now, I do not know if history is right or wrong. I'm not really a historian. But at the same time, we also got to take notice of Quran. Quran says, do not take a life. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Quran life. Quran life is sacred. Everyone, no matter what they've done, deserves the right to live. I'm not saying don't punish them, but I, if they do wrong, I mean, they still have a right to live. You know, a great woman once said to me, who I had the pleasure of knowing, that A man who is a warrior fights to the death, <laughs> but a true warrior is someone who says no to fighting and walk away, for a true fighter is the bigger person who walks away. So I say to Vladimir Putin, if you truly are a believer in God, then put away your nuclear weapons. Take your army out of Ukraine. Stop bombing innocent children. And hospitals. and walk away. You did it during COVID. Nothing different is now.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.